you later. See you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Right, that's the kids disposed of for six hours. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about electronic handbrakes. Now, before you click somewhere else, just bear with me a sec. We might learn something together here. They're becoming the norm in, with manufacturers now in most new cars. So I just wanted to talk about the setup in the TIG one. Um, so let's go and have a look around it. I'm actually a little bit embarrassed about it at the minute. God, look at the state of it, it's disgusting. Well, time of year. I promised myself I'd get the snow foam on it later, but uh, ooh, it's disgusting. Right, just a bit of a disclaimer before I start. The road that I'm on at the minute is a closed road. It used to be a main road until they put a motorway right smack bang through the middle of it. They split it into two halves and then they've just left it for the flora and fauna to take over the carriageway again and used it for storing stone chippings. So nobody comes down here anymore, so I'm not gonna cause any accidents by what I'm doing. God, it's cold and wet out there. Right, electronic handbrakes. Not the most exciting of subjects, I know, but people want to know how they work. So I'm just going to explain how they work on the automatic version of the TIG one. The manual version, probably pretty much the same. Um, I did a video a little while back on my Golf Mark 7, which had a manual gearbox and the electronic handbrake. If you want to watch that, click in the pop-out card at the top. Um, that'll give you some guidance on how that works with the manual gearbox. But let's concentrate on the automatic for now. Right, so what have we got down here? We've got a uh, rocker switch and we've also got an auto hold button. Now with the manual gearbox on my Golf, the auto hold would only ever work if the seat belt was on. In this car, the automatic I'm talking about, I'm not sure about the manual, I'm, I, I apologise for that, you don't need your seat belt on. Now realistically, you never have to actually touch this, these switches down here. As long as you've got it in auto hold, the car will set the handbrake when you get out and it will disengage it when you start to move off. You never actually have to touch it. The only reason you would uh, operate the handbrake manually is if you want to drive the car with the door open. Can't quite think of a situation unless you're stuck in mud or you want to see a curb, something like that. But that's the only way that you would have to touch that switch put your foot on the brake and then operate it like a normal handbrake. Push it down, it'll turn it off, pull it towards you, it sets it. So say you come up to a set of traffic lights and you've come to a stop. In the display, you'll get a green P. That's your auto hold kicking in. Now, it won't let you roll backwards or forwards. It will hold the car where it is. But your handbrake isn't fully set, but it won't allow you to move anywhere. Now, if you want to move off, all you need to do is uh, give it some gas and it starts to move and the handbrake turns off. We'll just do that again. Uh, so the handbrake's on P. I'm not holding my foot on the brake at all. If I were to open the door now or switch the ignition off, the, you will hear the servo kick in. The handbrake will fully set and the P will change to red. I'll just put it in park and I'll open the door. And the parking brake is now fully set. To get this off again, Start the car, put it in drive, a little bit of gas, the handbrake is deactivated and we move off. So throughout that, I didn't touch the switch down there, you don't have to, as long as you've got it on auto hold, the handbrake will just look after itself. It will disengage as well, if you've got the car in cruise control and you're using the lane assist, click up there if you want to know how to use the lane assist. If you press and hold the resume button, to get you moving again in traffic, it will disengage the parking brake as well. But what happens if you were to pull it on while driving? I don't know, should we give it a go? Right, here we go. So I'm doing 20 mile an hour and I'm just gonna pull the switch on. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, it didn't skid. I didn't feel the ABS kick in. It just braked me really hard, quite quickly, and we've come to a stop, and the handbrake is set. 
Okay, so on that occasion, I held the switch back until the car had come to a dead stop. But what happens if I were to let go of the switch? Would it keep the handbrake on? Would it keep braking me? Or will the car just continue to move forward? So we'll give that a go. I've got the car in drive, I've got it in eco. So when I lift off the gas, the car essentially will be in coasting mode which means it engages a clutch. So essentially it's just like a manual car and having it in neutral. Uh, so let's like, give that a go. Uh, car's in drive, it's in e eco. Let's get it back up to 20 mile an hour again. Okay, I'm gonna pull on the switch and let it go. Okay, so the handbrake initially did come on and then when I let go, it, um, it released the brakes and I just kept rolling. So there you go, that's the electronic handbrake explained to the best of my ability. It's a really simple system to use. It sorts itself out, you just forget about it. Unfortunately, you can't do handbrake turns, so you can't pretend you're a 17 year old again. It doesn't work like that. But at least you know what happens now when you pull one of these electronic handbrakes on. Um, I've learned something today, I hope you have too. If you've got any comments you wanna leave, put them in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you've got any questions or observations, leave them down there and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, again, guys, thank you very much for the support. Um, and uh, if you can, just give it, a, give, it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe up there. I'll try and make some more videos on the infotainment system, um, but it's proving difficult because it's quite a complex system. But as always, guys, thanks very much and I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.